Hey tribe, welcome to the HGDC, HG Designed Crochet channel. I'm your host Heather, I'm 28 and I live in the East Midlands in the United Kingdom. So today is a little update on what I've been making um, and there's a giveaway as well so stay tuned for that towards the end. Um, social media, you can find me on Instagram as HG Designed to Crochet. I have recently started post on there more often and it's great to get all of the interaction from you on there. I'm also on Twitter as HG Designed to Crow, C-R-O. Um, I pop in and out there all the time, as and when, usually late at night. So put the bell on so you can see what I post, tweet, and you can find me on Facebook. I've got a page, HG Designs Crochet, and I'm also on Ravelry, though I am a newbie at that, so be patient. All the links are below. Um, admin. There isn't really much other than to say, thank you for subscribing, thank you for commenting. I love waking up to your comments. I woke up to a really, really nice one this morning um, from, let me read it. I'm sorry if I get your name wrong, Eleni, um, and she's put, or you've put, I found your channel and I love it, you are awesome, the things you make are beautiful and you're an inspiration, thank you for sharing. And that is so, it's just really nice to wake up to, and really nice for you to take your time to say that, so thank you very much for that. Right then, let's get started. Today I have projects to show you, stash enhancements, yeah, more yarn piggery and I've got, um, I've received some lovely stuff in the post so I'm going to show you all of that. Um, I think I'm going to start with saying that you all know I have 101 million billion trillion projects on the go and normally I'm fine with that. However, I when I went away a few weeks ago and I did the vlog all about what you should pack when you go travelling having just a couple of projects with me I felt like I made so much more progress and I felt like the focus was really really um just it just really worked for me um rather than dipping in and out of every project just spending the time solely focusing on one project till it's done made a massive difference however I know I can't commit to just one project so my new, not rule, but my new guideline for myself to help me with my focus and the progress is that I'm going to have one knitting and one crochet project um, and I'm going to, I'm giving that a trial, we'll see how it goes, I'm a little bit unsure how it will go in terms of the podcast because how, what am I going to have to show you if I only work on one project, however I have realised that I crochet like the speed of light and what I can create in a few hours focused work is unreal so I have plenty of products to show you this week so let's not worry about that right now. Um, I don't know if anybody else feels that they're torn in so many directions with their projects if you focus on anything in particular. Um, I found that having one knitting and one crochet is good because I am bi-stitchal, I love both. I find that um, sometimes I will decide that a project is too tricky and that I want something simple and so I start something else and then I never go back to that tricky part to, to work it out or to work on it and then that's how I end up with a stockpile of yarn waiting for projects, it's how I end up with half completed projects all around me. So. The knitting project, let's go into that, the knitting project that I'm working on at the moment is my eyelet jumper and I believe I've already shown you the swatch for this. So here's the swatch, it is a simple panel, it's got this eyelet, the eyelets in it, I think I've shown you already, um, I spent a long time, well it wasn't a long time, I spent quite a bit of time working out how many stitches to have in between the eyelets to get the pattern how I wanted and I decided on 16 stitches um, in between each row so as to space them out and get this diamond pattern that I really wanted 
Um, I saw a picture of a jumper that I decided I would create my own version of. Um, the yarn that I'm using is Drops Fable Unicolor. It's superwash treated sock wool. Um, and it is, the colour is 100, which is not very helpful, but it's this creamy off-white colour. Um, I did buy it so that I could dye some socks, but in actual fact I decided there's enough there to make something bigger. I still, I only need 50 grams to make a pair of socks, and you can see in the top tub the rest of them because I bought seven or eight balls of this. So I've got more than enough to do my socks. Um, so I started with my swatch. The ribbing is on 3.5 needles and I believe in this it's 3.5 mil needles as well. And I used my circulars. I'm using my drops, my Pro Drops Classics. Um, and I have made so much progress. I think you've only seen the swatch. And possibly there's a picture on my Instagram that where I've cast on and it's got my progress keepers on it. So this is how far I've got now. I've done the majority of the body of the jumper so this now goes up to armpit level. Um, I'm doing it top, bottom up. Um, I cast on I used this to do all my measurements and don't worry I have written down the pattern as I go along because this will be one that I want to release. Um, can you see it very well? So this is on my meter cable and I did 3.5mm needles for the rib and I just did a very small rib, it's only an inch long. And then I used my 4.5s to do the actual body of the jumper. Um, I just wanted the rib to be a bit tighter and then as you can see it's got the eyelets all the way through. Um, that really didn't take me long at all, I started it, I think I started it last week, um, a week, maybe two weeks ago and I have now cast on the first sleeve, though there is footage that I took where I cast on a sleeve but I um, I cast on one to give it a go, I had to work out how I was going to join it and what I wanted it to look like and just sort of check the, my, that my maths was right, that the measurements were okay. Um, and then I realised that I'd started on the wrong eyelet repeat um, and so it wasn't going to be like a diamond, I'd started part way through so I knew it needed to be frogged, duh, needed to be frogged. And so I have cast on again, and here's number one, and I am going to cast on number two as well and do them two at a time, two up. Um, and I need to then knit the sleeve up to the armpit so that they can be joined to this, and then do the yoke and the ribbing and it will be done. So I feel like I've made a lot of progress on that, even though there's absolutely nothing to show you on there other than the first round. Um, I split a 50 gram ball to do the sleeves um, just because I use this little sack that I made and I didn't want to be fighting with two of these and I didn't want to open another one unless I needed to. This is attached to the body and I will carry on when I pick all the stitches up um, to add the sleeves in I'll carry on with that and hopefully that will get me through to pretty much the end, fingers crossed, um, which means I'll have used about 150 grams. So far I've used 50 grams in here, and you can, are the 50 grams? They are, aren't they? Having a moment. Yeah, 50 grams, so that's 205 metres or 224 yards. Um, you can see where I've done the join here. So I'm only just into the second ball so it's about 50 grams on there and then the sleeves hopefully will be about 50 grams and then the top of the jumper so 150 grams for a jumper is amazing and because that's only two pound a ball that means I spent about six pound on a jumper even if I have to put another ball in that, that's so cheap um stitch markers I've got a suitcase on here I want to go and do some traveling 
So it's my way of manifesting that. There was a lotus on there, which I then put on my sleeve. And unfortunately, I have left that in the car. But if you go to my Instagram, you can see the picture. So this is all living in here. I'm probably going to take the body out while I do the sleeves just so there's less to carry. Um, because this goes to me to work with me in the mornings and I work on it in, on the bus. So that's my knitting project, my eyelet jumper that I'm designing myself based off a picture that gave me some inspiration. And then my crochet project. I know you're all waiting for an update on this. My crochet project that I'm working on at the moment is my granny square jumper, self-designed um, and self-made. So, here we go. I think the last you saw it, I had I definitely sewn, sewn it up, but I put the sleeves on away, I wasn't happy. And you may have seen it with just one sleeve on, maybe. But here we go. I have almost a completed jumper. So it's inside out because I'm still seaming. It's got the back panel, the front panel, it's got a sleeve which needs to be seamed together, a sleeve which has been seamed together, um, and then the sides, I need to go up the sides to sew those in, um, and then just work on the neck, so the yoke and then the neckline. Um, I'm really, really pleased with it, and I feel like, I'm really proud of it. I am really, really proud of it. Um, let's turn it the right way around just so you can get a better view of it. It's super warm. Um, so it's gonna be a great addition to my winter wardrobe. And um, I've already got variations in my mind. So my plan is to get this pattern released for you all and then hack it and make more versions. Um, so there it is the right way round. I chose to join it, I think this is the raglan method where you seam the sleeves to the shoulders whereas before I'd done it it was more of a slouchy look and bit, a bit like the oversized eat me blog sweater that I'd made. Um, and it just wasn't quite what I was going for. So that's my waist. You can see I've just got the shoulders, the yoke and the neckline to do. And then that will be pretty, pretty much done. I feel like that is just a few hours away really from completion. So what do you think? I love the pops of colour. I know the lighting isn't the greatest in here. The pops of colour are amazing and the purple just really works well. Um, did I have it the right way at the first time round? I think I've just shown you it inside out now. Probably because I know my nana was looking at it. Right, so get it together Heather. This is the right way around um, and the colour. I really like like the pop of orange and things that I've put in there. And I love that it's using up some of my granny squares. So yes, um, I've used a 3.5 mil crochet hook for the squares and for the, bo the um, border of the panels. And then on the ribbing, I used four mil needles. I've done quite a ch like a, a deeper rib. And on the sleeve, again, I've knit the ribbing. I've crocheted granny stripe and then I've crocheted using trebles. Um, the neck is going to be, well, the neck's going to be, I think the yoke's going to be a mixture of maybe a granny stripe or two rounds of granny stripe to keep that flowing then using trebles to do the decreases and then knit the rib on my four mils again um, so yes I'm really really pleased with that um, 
I know a lot of you are loving that project and really watching it grow um, and that has actually spared me on to get it finished and I've kept careful notes as I've gone along so that it can be recreated and that is something I'm going to ask pattern testers for so if you think you could pattern test that for me I'm thinking of giving because it's quite involved with the granny squares maybe three to four weeks turnaround um, it just uses DK yarn so it's double knit um, is that eight ply in, in America I'm not sure but um the granny squares I just used scraps then I've used about 300 grams of DK purple so far so if you think you might be able to test that for me then let me know because I'm going to start a list um, it's something I'm really excited about but also a bit nervous because I haven't put a pattern out there so putting the actual pattern together getting it tested checking the maths is right is a little bit overwhelming but I think I can do it I'm gonna do it so as I said one knitting one crochet project at a time um, I was working on the granny jumper as my crochet project however another crochet project cropped up and it has a deadline which is next Wednesday today is Sunday so this Wednesday coming um, following the completion of my boho cardi this is the made by hem pattern um, and I've done my vlog showing it off um, which was last week it's got fringing um, following this my other half Artie decided that he needed a cardigan for a festival that he's going to so he ordered the yarn which arrived last Wednesday which gave me a week to get it done no biggie I can do that right um, bearing in mind obviously he's bigger than me it's going to take more yarn than what mine's taken um, so I got started I worked out the measurements it's kind of loosely based off this in that it's a similar construction method but I've used different stitch um, and it's going to have a different finish so I have st well, I started it and I did all the measurements and then I decided I was going to go up a hook size as well so I measured based off this as a tension swatch in effect um, and I used a 5mm on this and then on his I decided I'm going to use a 6mm which is fine and um, when I worked out based on this with a 5mm I'd need 210 stitches so I started that I cast it on or whatever the crochet term is and I got about 22 rows in 22 rows of 210 stitches although obviously part way through you are decreasing if you if you're familiar with the pattern um, and then I measured it on him and I realized it's going to be way longer than what we had measured for though I know he would have been okay with that but I wanted it to be true to my measurements and um, so I measured it and I worked out I only need 180 stitches not 210 and in my mind I was like well that's going to make it quicker so and when I'd started I decided that I was going to go through a certain loop and then part way through I think row nine I decided that wasn't what I wanted to do and I changed it and that was bugging me so I just decided and the end was ever so slightly wonky I think working on it late at night and not just checking the end of my rows I'd, I'd missed a stitch and it, it was like that it just doesn't sit well with me so I decided to frog it I'd used about 200 grams of, of yarn I frogged it all um, whilst maybe having a slight strop um, <laughs> But I frogged it all and I knew that I'd feel better for it. Ripped it all back, started again. I started Friday evening um, and by yesterday sort of afternoon I'd used the whole 400 grams. That's what I mean by I am rapid at crochet, I'm surprised myself. Um, so I don't have the yarn band because I've given it to somebody who wants to buy some. But I did take footage of the balls of yarn before I started so I hope you can see that. It's the Wendy Arim. It's 25% wool, 75% acrylic. I got two balls of black because he wanted it in a dark colour. So that's how you know it's love, right? Because if you make something in black, you know, when you're going to be using 800 grams of yarn in black, and it's just straight rows, that's commitment, isn't it? I think you will need to comment below and just let him know how dedicated I am. <laughs> so 
it came in this huge bag, which is um, great because it's massive and I need some big sacks, some big project bags. Um, it's from Wool Warehouse and they've got their little logo on the ribbon, which has a nice touch. As I said, I'm using a 6mm hook and I am using this black colour. I hope there's no Darcy hair on it. Obviously can't see anything because it's just black. Um, but I've used the first 400 grams. I need the second ball from him, which is it his. And oh, it's massive. This is, so that's a front panel. That's a front panel. And this is the back. Um, and let's see if you can see. You can just tell by how big I am to this, like how much more work that is and how quickly I did it. <laughs> um, this yarn is really soft. It's softer than this. So this is the, um, what's this? This is Robin. And I've used two balls of this so far. Um, whoops. <laughs> This is a lot softer to the touch. It feels cozy. It smells quite good actually. Um, and I definitely will be ordering more. So I need the second ball so that I can finish a couple of rows on the front panel, um, sew the side, start the sleeves. I genuinely think I've got no issue getting this done for Wednesday as long as I get the ball um, soon. Hopefully I'll go get it today. And I am going to change it slightly in that I want to put a bit of ribbing and maybe a button closure. Um, and whereas the boho cardigan does the front and back post, this is just straight all the way through. So there's no ribbing. Um, creates a really nice mesh. Mm. I wonder if you did that in a bigger hook, if it would create a nice mesh. I might have to try that. Hmm. Yes, so it is looking good. It's no good for this household though because Darcy hair. So I'll get all that off before he moans at me. Um, so this has been my crochet project for the last, since Wednesday, which is why the granny square jumper has been put to a side. Um, as soon as this is finished, then that will become my crochet project again, I think. There's a couple of other things in the pipeline, but I, I'm not far off finishing that, so uh, hopefully I'll carve out a bit of time to do it. Um, so that's Artie's cardigan. Um, hopefully he will be a darling and do some photos when it's finished so we, you can see it on him and what it looks like. And fingers crossed he likes it because put quite a lot of time in it guys and I don't really make things for other people I don't make things for other people they ask and then I kind of say yeah and I don't really get around to it um my making time is for me is my meditation um and so I don't really like obligations on it but I have enjoyed the element of designing this pattern and I think it's helped me realize my skills and a little bit of confidence in myself so there's definitely other patterns that people have asked for other projects that I'm now going to be turning my attention to as a matter of urgency and get them done and hopefully they will love those too so they're the three projects that I'm working on that I'm only working on two focus and progress focus and progress um, which then leads us to stash enhancement now a couple of weeks ago I showed you the piggery of the yarn that I'd got and the patterns and I was, I thought I don't need any more, I'm not going to get any more. And then this happened, so Pound World unfortunately is going into administration, they are closing um, and one of the ladies that I work with in my day job said that everything was reduced, including the yarn. 
so you know where I went on my lunch break, right? Um, I walked out with that huge bag. Um, anybody that's watched before, if you've seen my High Street haul um, vlog, which I'll link to this one, you'll know that I've got some of this tweed Aran already. It's 25% wool, um, and it's like an oatmeal with these darker flecks of like a black and a brown. Um, it's £2, which is quite pricey for Pound World, but I really like the colour. I think I've already got 300 grams or 600 grams. What do you reckon, guys? I either bought three or six balls of this before. I think I might have got six. Um, and it was on sale. It was 40 pence off. So I just thought I'd get some more because I want to design my own Aaron jumper. So it's always good to have extra, right? So um, I bought more of that. I bought five balls of that. So if I already have six and I just bought five, I've got 1.1 kilos of <laughs> tweed. Who am I making the jumper for? Gosh, I could make one like X triple L to, to use all the yarn up. Maybe I'll be making multiple jumpers out of this. Maybe I can make like matching his and hers. Which I know if Artie's watching this, he's like, ugh, ugh. I could make us matching his and hers jumpers. Aww. Who thinks I should make matching his and her jumpers? Aww. And surely one of you would like to use the patterns so you could make your other half a matching jumper. Well, let me know what you think. Maybe he'll see mine and think, oh, it's so cute. I want, uh, I want my own, you know. Matchy, matchy. It is cute. A little bit sick in though. So this is the wonderful tweed. My grandma's lent me a book um, about Aaron knitting and it's got a chunk in it about garment construction and creating your own garment and I've looked through and found the cables that I really like. Um, I just don't think I'm going to go. My grandma really, really likes, Nanny really likes the traditional full length proper cover your bum jumper whereas I want more of a crop or a boxy Aaron with cabling um I just not decided if I want cabling all the way through so I need to sit and actually really work out what I want um probably going to spend a bit of time on Pinterest print off a little bit of inspiration get it in my journal start some measurements start some swatching but again it's going to have to wait because one knitting project at a time and I've got the eyelet jumper on the needles though um, I may as that starts to get I don't know I'm not sure whether I will just start a swatch as something easy that I can then you take to do on the bus when the eyelet jumper gets a little bit big and unruly um, but I mean it's such a light jumper if it was like I wouldn't take this on the bus now to work on but the eyelet jumper is not going to weigh this much it's not going to be this big um, so I might potentially take the swatches on the bus just feel a bit I don't want my rule to be too restrictive but I don't want to find poke holes in it in every way I can I'm going to stop waving that at you now I also from the pound world bought this double knitting in grey it's shade 804 grey, it was 20% off, so it was 80 pence for 100 grams. Want to know how many I brought to fill this bag? Five balls of uh, DK, uh, Aaron, which you see at the bottom, and 10 balls of grey. Because I kind of thought you can always use grey, and I've got projects in mind, so a grey blanket, which this could be used for, or... I know that I want to hold some of that double with a solid colour like grey um, to create a scrappy effect jumper, both crochet and knitted, that's in the back of my mind. And also I want to make a beaded jumper like I've seen on Instagram and there is one in grey. So I've got, I bought 10 balls, wow, slightly overkill on the grey. I'm definitely going to get a couple of jumpers out of it. My only thing is, is I don't want all of my clothes to be the same colour. 
because I've got a jumper in this and I'm now I've got the cardigan in it. I don't want them all to look the same, but they're not going to because all the designs are different and I couldn't wear my jumper with this dress. Um, and so it does give me more it does give me more options in my wardrobe and I guess if they're all of a similar shade then I don't need lots of different accessories and you've got a palette that you're sticking to I don't know well anyway I bought 10 balls of this at 80 pence you can't even complain I've had their yarn before um, I've got loads of projects in mind I know that one day I'll use it up it's just, I'm not sure how I'm going to fit it in this, because they're gaping already. Um, and I've got all this to squash in. So at the moment, it's just been propped next to it. Um, and my housemate was like, is that more yarn? Mm-hmm. Do you need more yarn? Mm-hmm. Okay, there's more yarn. <laughs> Whoops. Um... So they are my enhancements that I got for myself. I also, my grandmother nanny got me this pattern, which is the Style Craft, what's it called? Alpaca Tweed, pattern number 9017. It's got two easy knit designs and it's this sort of wrap top. I like the one with the shorter sleeves. Um, just something light to put on over a simple top jumper like that or a or a dress um so i'm gonna give that a go it looks like you just make the panel twist it and then sew it together um so that was picked up by my nanny she said it's my style so i'm gonna give that a go at some point and then i've received the most darling pattern from a lovely 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 subscriber um i hope i don't butcher your name i think it's Tyrion. Um, and you messaged me and said I've got a pattern book for you because I think you'd watched my um, maybe it's one of the vlogs where I show off all of the vintage patterns that I've got from charity shops because it's one of my little my little hobbies um, charity shop diving and you said that you had a pattern book that you wanted to send me stitching craft um, and of course I said yes and you didn't even want any money for it and then when it got here there's mitten patterns and jumpers and oh, wow there's just so much to do and I should have marked before but there is a couple that I immediately want to do I love the mittens and the sock patterns with the ribbon that's such a cute idea um, and I really like this dress so thank you so much for that but not only did you send me that you also sent me chocolate sorry guys i bet that i can't show you but a whole bar of chocolate these push pins which now i've shown them off i can finally open up and these are going on my swatch board um for new swatches to be added the little pom-pom um pins which are so cute and as well two balls of paint box yarn in chunky um which you said you had left over and you sent to me which is oh that's so kind of you so i'm dreaming up projects to use that for it's really soft as well and then you sent me a really really nice little card with a lovely message um and it truly did make my day um yeah it just, I was completely bowled away that somebody would take their time and pay to send something to me and send such a lovely message. So thank you so much for that. That's really, really thoughtful. Um, I need you to inbox me your address because I have a little something to send back to you just as a thank you. Um, and I then have a giveaway for another lucky viewer. So Tyrion, message me. I've got some yarn for you that I want to send to you. It's um this lovely jewel coloured turquoise um mini skein of sock yarn by River Knits. And I have another one for a lovely subscriber. 
Um, I just wanted to make sure that I'm sending you goodies um, to Tyrion because obviously you sent me such a lovely little care package which made my day, made my week. Um, and it's the first ever package I've got from a subscriber so I kind of feel like I've made it a little bit. <laughs> um, and this one is for viewers um, just because I love how much you comment and I love the things that you um, say and do for me so I am going to give this away to a lovely viewer it doesn't matter where you are in the in the world you can enter um, and to enter the question is gonna be oh I should have thought about this before Hmm. Okay, I thought of the question. I want you to comment below for a chance to win this, which I will draw by random giveaway on my next vlog. I want you to comment below what it is you do whilst you're watching my vlog. So, are you on the bus? Are you on the train? Are you at home? Are you crocheting? Are you knitting? Do you watch outside? Let me know what you do so I can have a little snapshot of what you do whilst you join me here. That would be really, really nice to know and then I will draw a giveaway because I love you all, you're absolutely amazing. We're growing stronger in numbers, um, every day more subscribers. So make sure you're subscribed, let me know what you're doing whilst watching this and somebody will get one of these. And Tyrion, this is yours. So that's everything for this week. Um, I hope you have enjoyed your time with me. I hope the week coming you get some lovely nitty or crochet time or both, whatever it is that floats your boat. Um, and I will see you again next weekend. I might even have one or two finished objects. Peace. <laughs>